Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, well, first I might as well go ahead and explain what's going on here. This is the Famicom Disk System. It is a floppy disk add-on for the Japanese version of the Nintendo Entertainment System, known as the Famicom, or the Family Computer. And it allowed for playing games that wouldn't have been able to fit in cartridge form in Japan. And we could have gotten it, but due to privacy concerns, not privacy concerns, but piracy concerns, we didn't get it. Our, our, the release of it here got canceled. And there were some pretty interesting games, the most interesting of which were the graphical adventures, where you use a control pad and the A button to basically make choices, and the choices you made, made basically affected the outcome of the story. And the game that I'm going to play is no exception. As a matter of fact, it's one of the er one of the earliest dating sims in Japanese gaming history, so to speak. And well, I've kind of let this thing run a little too long, so I might as well go ahead and start this bad boy up. And when you see that see that text there that looks like that, you know it's loading. So just so you know. Anyway, welcome to Nakayama Miho no Tokimeki High School. This is the game that I'm going to be playing, and uh, it was developed in 1987 by both Nintendo and SquareSoft, who had just come off making Final Fantasy One. Hironobu Sakaguchi, the creator of Final Fantasy, and Yoshio Sakamoto, the co-creator of Metroid, were responsible for the design. Nobuo Yumatsu was responsible for a composition of the music. <coughs> ah, sorry about that. Game was developed in two weeks, and it stars Japanese pop idol Miho Nakayama, or if you're used to the Japanese uh, naming style, Nakayama Miho. And it also uses the disc fact system, which allows you to upload proof that you beat the game for a contest, which I'll mention in an inform informative video at the end. Without further ado, I'm just going to start a new game. I'm going to input one Japanese symbol. I do not know any Japanese. I'm just going by my notes that I got out of my research for playing this game. There are a lot of mistakes you can make, and one wrong slip up can easily cause you to get a game over, and you'll have to start that whole section again. This is harder than most of those graph most of those graphic adventures that I mentioned. And here we go, the guy shaking his head in front of the school. That is us. We are this guy. He is the main character. And the only background information that we have on him is that he's seen all of Miho Nakayama's stuff, all his TV appearances, bought all the records, everything. This is his first day at Tokimeki High School. He just transferred over here. It's eight o'clock. It's time to get the class. And as soon as you go through the dialogue here, you'll finally run right in. And when you see that, that's your cue to take the disc out, turn it over, and put it in so that we can read the other side. And you'll get in the classroom and you'll see this kid with a big head staring at you. Yeah, I know, that's kind of the, that's the most, in, first thing you'll probably notice. You got some commands here, this is your first time you can put input a command, I'm just going to tell you what to do and that's it, because once again, I'm just going by my notes here. So go ahead and choose the first option, which allows you to examine stuff. This will probably take a little longer than usual because I'm doing post commentary on this. My setup wasn't optimal for this and I had to do this a different way, but at least I'm doing this right and it didn't come out like total crap. As soon as you choose the first option, this pointing hand pops up in the upper left hand corner, move it to this kid's big head, and press A. You'll finally notice that this kid is staring at you. Now you, now you can choose command again. So go ahead and choose the second option, which allows you to speak to somebody. In this case, it's this guy. His name is Sadakichi, and you'll find out that he's a big fan of Miho Nakayama, much like you are. And the first thing he does after you talk to him 
is give you the number to Miho Nakayama's fan hotline. Which should be popping up any minute now. Okay, there it goes. Now, these phone numbers actually gave you messages from Miho Nakayama herself whenever you dialed them on a real phone. This phone service, however, was discontinued shortly after the first run of the game was printed, and subsequent print runs of the game have the phone numbers, but the messages from said numbers come with the number. They actually show up on the screen in those versions instead. Most of these numbers, if not all of them, will not work due to changes in area codes and the Japanese phone number system. So yeah, don't even bother dialing these numbers. Anyway, to get out of the screen, you want to press the B button and you'll get sent back here. Go ahead and choose the second option to talk to Sadakichi again. And you'll get some conversation, and after that, the first option changes. This this option allows you to move out of the classroom or whatever area you happen to be in. So go ahead and choose that. You'll be in the quarter, and you'll run into this girl. And this mascot-looking thing, which that thing actually is, gets knocked off of her. She drops it. The game loads, and you get to talk to this girl. Get, don't, don't get to talk to her for very long, though. As the game loads again, and she leaves, and you get to talk to Sadakichi again. Alright, as soon as the conversation's over, go ahead and choose the first option again. And move the hand so that the pointer finger is touching the mascot. When you do that, go ahead and press A. This lets you examine this and you'll find out it's the mascot. There's a, the third option is a new one. This allows you to take an object you examined. So go ahead and press A because the cursor of whatever you're pointing at is going to be on the mascot still. The pointer finger changes position. You'll take it and then these girls will show up. This is the Typhoon Trio, and according to Sadakichi, whenever they show up, a terrible storm is about to about to happen. And by terrible storm, I'm assuming he means drama bomb. These girls are pretty much like the gossip girls who like to follow all the popular people, I guess. Once again, this is just me and the language barrier talking. I could be wrong. Anyway, you get to talk to Sadakichi again. He basically tells you about the Typhoon Trio. And talk to Tadakichi. And then Erica shows up. Apparently, she's rich, she's romantic, she's competitive, and she's a bit of a jerk. Doesn't seem to think very highly of us, assuming that this is our first day here. And go ahead and talk to her. This will start up some more conversation. Go ahead and talk to her again. You'll want to talk to her twice. This being the second time. And finally, after that second time, she'll go away. You'll talk to Sonic Yichi. He'll basically tell you about Erica, I guess. And you now have the chance to go ahead and get out of the quarter with the first option. So go ahead and do that. Unfortunately, when you do that, you also run into this guy. This is Masami. He's a rich, handsome guy. He's a playboy. He's also a jock. He's apparently into sports, I guess, according to my research. And Well, he doesn't seem to think too highly of his age or again. Probably just mean the language barrier. And after... This guy speaks to us, we try to speak back, but he just walks off. You don't even get a chance to say anything. And then once you press stay here, you'll meet the Typhoon Trio yet again, apparently talking about the sound me, pretty much like they do about all the popular people that they seem to admire. And then they'll disappear. 
and you'll meet Sadakichi again. He shows up again, and he says there's a classroom where the girls are changing from their school outfits to their gym outfits. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead and choose the second option when you're able to choose a command again, and you'll finally get a peek at the girls. We look at them like we're perverts, and they look at us like we're perverts. Pretty good deal all around. Something that definitely would not have gotten under the radar, or over the radar, or anywhere around the radar under Nintendo of America's watch. They would not have stood for this, I tell you. And after that, we duck our head back out of the classroom and in the corridor, and we run into the girl we bumped into earlier. Go ahead and talk to her. Apparently, she seems to have dropped her mascot, I guess. Yep, she has. And so, go ahead and choose the third option. This is a new one here. It allows us to give an object to somebody else. So, go ahead and choose it. You got only one option, which is the mascot. So, go ahead and give that to her. Press A. And when you do that, the game loads. Again. And once the game stops loading, we get a conversation with this girl. She thanks you for giving her back her mascot. She tells you that her name is Mizuho, so yeah, we've finally gotten somewhere in the school already. And... Well... I guess we've basically survived our first day at Tokimeki High School as a new student now. So after we're done talking to her, the game loads, and we go back to the quarter with Sakakichi. We talk one last time, and then we head back home. We survived our first day at the new school. And we head home, where her brother will be waiting, waiting for us. I'm going to go ahead and stop the game here. Join me next time where I go through the rest of the story. So until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.